There's like, there's two. There's one over here, and then me and Simong saw lightning over here. So there's like two storms passing us, and we're just in this little valley. And you can still see it's raining all around us. Just right on top of us, it doesn't look bad. It's like, a, it's like a ring, and we're in the middle, and it's like not hitting us for some reason. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Classic outrunning rainstorms. Well, good morning guys. We we're at the trailhead. We uh, pulled in late last night, uh, recorded a podcast, had some burgers, and then crashed out in the tack room of Keegan's horse trailer. Uh, we slept in a little bit. I'll blame it on Keegan. Uh, he said he was going to be up at 4. It's 7. So, <laughs> it's a good one though. We're going to ride in with the sunlight. would we'll be daylight the whole way in. Hopefully be able to hunt from the horses. Head in, find a camp spot enjoy it but this is going to be a uh, four day um, backcountry horse camp for for black bears here in washington state um, so mung's got 
a tag, I got a tag, and then Keegan's got both his tags. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can dig up a bear and or four. I woke up with a really sore throat. Like super strange type of sore throat. Not the scratchy, itchy, typical cold sore throat, like a weird one. So Keegan gave me an Alka Seltzer cold and Samung had some Benadryl. I'm just trying to throw everything at it to get rid of it. It's really weird and it kind of hurts to talk like up in here. Lymph nodes are all swollen. So, I don't know. Either way, it's a beautiful morning over here, Eastern Washington, and uh, we're gonna get to it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please head down to the subscribe button and smash the shit out of it. Please, we'd really appreciate it. Um, hope you guys been enjoying the the content this year. We're really trying to turn it out, turn and burn, get the content out to you guys. It's been a really really fun time making all this stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, this is gonna be a an awesome horseback hunt adventure. So if you guys are into that kind of thing, please like the video, head down to the comments, let us know, and hit that excuse me, hit that subscribe button. Alright. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the trail. Well, we just got to a, a spot where we can sit down and glass a lot of country. We got to camp probably two hours ago, set everything up, got water, uh, set the shelter up. Not in a great spot, not the best spot for horses, but it's a spot. Got the shelter up, it's pretty tight. Horses are all tied up and food and water and they're happy. So we just left and about four o'clock now and we just sat down to glass this is all untouched country we haven't ever seen any of this so I'm gonna start picking it apart we might sit here for an hour or two and then go down the drainage another half mile and sit down for an hour or two but we can see this big avalanche shoots behind us up over here and then in front of us So lots to look at. We're gonna get busy, start glassing. We'll check in when we catch something or when we move spots. Well, uh, we sat here for probably about an hour. We're uh, thunderstorms rolling in on top of us. Looks like it's gonna miss us though. It looks like it's going more east than it is coming south, which we'll is be over on top of us. But we're gonna move down this drainage a little bit. We sat here an hour. We're gonna move down the drainage and look at some different country. We got three hours of daylight still, so lots of time to make it happen. I'm just going to move down the drainage and see what we dig up.
Definitely don't want to be right under that. No, we don't. <laughs> and it's cracking right there. No. When that cracks, it's loud. Well, we tried to outrun it, but I don't think it worked, Keegan. No. <laughs> uh, Simone, what do you think? It ran pretty fast. <laughs> Look at my hands. Uh -oh. They're like waterlogged. Look at us. Dude, you can We're like, all just You soaked. could like cinch your pants. Oh, yeah. And they'll be dripping. <laughs> Little soaked. So one system, like I said, came in from this way. And another one came in from that way. And then one snuck in over the top. <laughs> And just started dumping on us. But look up above me. Blue sky that way. So let's hope that wins and pushes all this shit out of here. But we are soaked. Soaked. Brats and beer might help that. Ooh, see oh, that? Man. What was it? Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Flashbacks. What the hell? That was right behind us. Yeah. There's nothing. Unless there's another one coming. <laughs> Let's get back to camp. Lightning. Well, we just got back to camp. I am extremely soaked, as well as Keegan is extremely soaked. Samung is, <laughs> he's looking a little rough. <laughs> I look homeless. <laughs> uh, we made it back to the shelter, though, and look at this. A little bit of water over there. This is a tight spot for the shelter. It's huge, but water over there. We could filter that, Keegan said. We're going to get some, uh, speaking of filter, we're going to get some uh, get some water, get some supper going, kind of hang out under some trees, maybe start a fire. It pissed down rain. Not sure yet, though. Might be safe to start one, just dry out. We're drenched. We don't have much extra gear. Wasn't uh, forecasted. That storm was not, so... Fun though. This is what this is what it's all about. Samong just a little bit ago said this is gonna be one epic podcast, and uh, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> it's gonna be a great story recap. So hope you guys are enjoying it. We're gonna go get some supper, and uh, we'll check in with you down the road. What are you looking at? You and no pad. Oh, you yeah. damn hillbilly. It's great. It's great. Yeah, you just sleep right on a tarp. I think this is like 16 mil or something, so it's <laughs> perfect. How'd you sleep, Si? Oh, I slept like a rock. I slept on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you literally. Mine was a. Yeah, I had a dream. I spotted a big old chocolate in there. Like it was so, it felt so real. I was about to yell, "There's a bear!" And then I woke up. I was like, "Dude, <laughs> it was just a dream." It was that real, huh? Yeah, it felt so real. Let's go make it happen. Oh man, let's go do it. Might be a little late, but. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Keegan. Good morning. We're Hard. a little bit late, huh? Yeah. Are the horses taken care of this morning? They're all good. Everybody's good. Well, good morning, guys. We uh, just woke up a little bit late. As you can see, we are just still soaked from yesterday. Everything is soaked. Look at my feet. I literally put wet socks on, put my boots on, and now we're heading out to the sun. That's where we're headed right here. Go down the valley, try to pick up a bear. Soaking wet. It's cold this morning. 
uh, we had to get some water out of uh, the creek. And we were headed back up to our little glass and knob down the trail here. We're gonna probably sit in, in the sun and enjoy the sun for quite some time this morning. But fingers crossed we can get back on a, or get on a bear. We haven't even seen a bear yet in this trip. So we're getting our butts kicked. What the old uh, mother nature threw us an uppercut. And then she also um, spit on us when we were on the ground. So that was sick. Uh, I don't have a second pair of pants. I don't have a second shirt. I don't have, do you all see all these don't haves? Not good. Um, I know better. I'm more experienced than this. Got caught with our pants down. Don't ever trust a weather forecast, period, in that, in the North Cascades. We know this, and I, I still just chanced it. Um, I did have a second pair of socks and a second pair of underwear. Left them in the shelter. We have a floor of the shelter. Where do you think that rain went? Underneath our shelter and soaked everything. So my second pair of socks soaked. My second pair of underwear soaked. Don't have rain gear. Yeah. Take it from me and uh, bring gear for every situation on every hunt in the North Cascades. Um, weather rolls in and rolls out in seconds unforecasted or not you guys can get caught with your pants down and it's not fun look at samung today <laughs> i look like a homeless dude i'm wearing puffy pants show them your sock you're showing your shoe situation like that you like that this, this i've got my socks in a ziplock on this side <laughs> and a full-blown plastic bag on this side i was telling the watchers uh samung that we failed epically at not being prepared for the north cascades well, it's kind of our fault, but I'm going to blame the weatherman on this one. <laughs> yep. Yep, unforecasted, huge storms, back-to-back, -back, rain, hail, the whole nine. We got absolutely soaked. And, um, hey, it is what it is, right? You're nine miles from the truck. There's no going back. No take backsies. So we're just going to keep moving forward, and this is going to be one epic podcast. That's what Simone keeps saying. <laughs> A minor setback for a major comeback. Ooh. That's what this is. That's, those are beautiful words. From the, the legend himself. <laughs> All right. We'll check back in. All right. Well, Jeffrey, myself, and Keegan came down to the spot where we were glassing first last evening. And... Uh, same results came down here no bears we haven't even seen a single critter no deer either which is pretty crazy because we can see like probably like three miles and there's just nothing i don't know if we're just not picking them out or if there really is just no critters in here but you would think if there was bears in here we at least pick them out because i know these bears they're not necessarily stationary they're cruising pretty fast so usually you should be able to catch movement but I don't know. We're just getting our butts kicked this trip, and so I guess we'll probably have to figure out a new game plan if this doesn't produce for us. Because I was just telling Jeff, I was like, "What are the chances we out hiked where all these bears are hanging out?" So I don't know. I wish I had a better update, but that's just the story right now. No bears. Well, we decided to. Um break down this area we glassed that one spot for like two hours we haven't seen any sign of critters the berries aren't coming in the berries are look like they're like a week out or two out they're still they're still small and pink so i think that 1200 foot of elevation that we gained kind of kicked us in the butt and we lost the berries so not saying that we couldn't catch a bear in there it looked gorgeous i'm sure there's tons of bears in there um but we need to find one and we need to find the berries so we decided to come back to the camp uh, we're going to pack up and we're going to head down like another three miles back down the trail to try to find um, a better camp spot and something into the, the berries, you know, into that, that hot zone where the bears are hanging out. So we're going to pack up and head back down the trail another two or three miles. We'll see you down the trail. But first, look what Simone's eating. And Jeff's making fun of me for bringing in potato salad and I'm like, dude, Keegan's got a full-size griddle. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, I've never seen this is a first for me man potato salad first time uh, how is it back here is it it's got to be a better right it's oh, gonna it be like a solid everything. seven or eight it tastes way better <laughs> it's like it's like a nine usually it's like a seven it's a nine <laughs> uh, all right well let 
let uh, we'll let Simone enjoy that. We're gonna get to packing up here. There's the seek outside Red Cliff. It's where I sleep, or I slept right here. And then uh, Samong over on the far right, and Keegan was right in the middle. So plenty of room, tons of room, even in this tight spot. We just pitched it. I mean, it's a little wonky, but we got it up. Got us a shelter. I guess anything that's wet, I'll just throw the tarp in and we just wrap the tarp over. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. And then all the dry stuff, we can put it in the other one. Yeah, we're still soaked. Look at my feet. How's your socks? Soaked. <laughs> like, my right foot is squishy when I step, dude. It's like... Oh, gross. It's horrible. Well, horses are almost all loaded up. Camera's flashing red. Batteries are buried in my backpack. So we're gonna work on getting out of here in the next couple minutes, and then we'll check in when we get to our new camp spot. Uh, if the cannon, or if my camera battery dies. We'll see you at the next camp spot. All right, guys, real quick. Camera's still flashing red. We are at our second camp. We uh, just came in. It might look familiar to you guys. This is exactly where Bobby killed his bear. Bobby killed his bear right there, and it was he was laying, bear was up there, Bobby was laying right there. So we're going to camp here, we're about like five miles in, four and a half miles in. We're going to watch this hill face tonight, watch this one all around us, and then probably we'll, we'll hike up and down the trail a little bit to try to find a bear. But we're going to set up camp two, get some water, enjoy the crocs. All right. That makes for happy hunters. The only thing I wish I'd have done is that I pulled the uh, cinnamon whiskey out before I started cooking on top of it. So. <laughs> Lessons learned. Lessons learned. Now I know. I'm not gonna sneak it. That doesn't look half bad. Come on. You know, this might be the best breakfast I've had in the backcountry, so I ain't complaining. <laughs> That's what Bob said last time, I think, about the biscuits and greens. Oh, 100% with mine. But usually my, my breakfast is a cook bar. You know, <laughs> and so when you do something like this, it's like you're, you're in a restaurant. We can deal with this. Oh, I ain't complaining <laughs> about this. No way.
back at camp. It's like 11 o'clock in the afternoon. It's getting pretty late. I haven't seen a bear in uh, four days. I've seen three deer this morning, another mountain goat. It's been overcast and just cool, like way cooler today than it has been. Like, like mid layer fleece for me type of weather. So <laughs> I'm just in a long sleeve and I've, I've been chilly all morning. But um, we're deciding to call it a trip. We're gonna get out of here and maybe just hail Mary a couple other spots that I know around here. But this one doesn't really hold the, I think the bears are gone. So Keegan's back there, battling horses and mules, getting them ready. Me and Samong are breaking down all of our stuff. I'm standing where the shelter was. The shelter's taken down. Just getting ready to get out of here. Crazy. Can't can't understand it really. I'm trying to figure out what the heck happened. What's going on? But hey, that's hunting. This is hunting. Sometimes it's a grind, and sometimes they're 80 yards off the trail. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's what keeps coming back, right? And, uh, look at this view that I'm looking at. Not many places like this, so it's a cool place to hang out. I had a T-bone last night, drinking the Coors Banquet, glass in this hillside, so can't complain. Can't complain. Catch up again a little bit. It's not always about a notched tag and a dead animal, bloody game bags and a dirty knife. Sometimes you just have to slow down, take in the views, enjoy your company, and enjoy that ribeye steak, or in this case, a T-bone, in the backcountry with two good friends. Reminder, slow down and take it all in. Enjoy it all, every step of the way, every second, on every hunt. You never know which trip is going to be your last. Big thanks to Keegan Friddle and Simone Yang for keeping me company on this cold, wet, miserable backcountry hunt that I'll surely never forget. <laughs>